Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm just going to bring you a quick Target haul. I went to Target yesterday and I kind of like blacked out. I just spent like $250 and I thought I was supposed to grab like two things. So I thought it'd be interesting if I did a Target haul to show you guys all the stuff I got. There's a few home items, um, personal care, like body care, shower care items, and then some clothing items. I always love when I see other people's hauls from stores, especially Target. I love Target and I always want to see what's in Target. So if you'd like to see my Target haul, then please keep watching. Okay, for today's video, we're just casual vibes in the kitchen. I need to sanitize everything that I bought from Target. So I was like, you know what, let me show them because there were so many body care products that I wanted to show you guys, but I wasn't sure like how to incorporate them in my videos. Um, so I'm just going to show you my Target haul and talk to you about everything that I got and why I got it. Some things are like boring and self-explanatory, which we'll speed through, but the more interesting things like the body care and the clothing items, then we'll talk about. I'm just going to get all the house stuff out of the way first because I feel like that's the most boring. Like I love seeing other people's house products just to see like what I should pick up for my house as well, but I don't feel like it's that interesting um, to sit here and talk about for 20 minutes. So we're going to speed through that. So first I was out of hand soap and I always get the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I was trying to see if they were open and I did see there's one in my area that is open. Um, the one nearest to me, you could do, I think buy online, pick up in store. And then there's one store like 20 minutes for me that I can go into, but I wanted foaming hand soap. Like I get at bath and body to replace in like the kitchen and bathrooms. So I just picked up the method brand pink grapefruit. I got two of these. These were like $2.99 each, nothing too exciting there. Then I just got Ziploc bags. So basically the reason why I went to Target yesterday, I didn't really even need that much stuff. I didn't need anything at all actually. And I haven't seen my sister in so long because of the COVID stuff. Even though she lives like 12 to 15 minutes away from me, like I don't really get to see her and I hadn't seen her since 4th of July. So we just went on a big Target run. She of course got two items and I spent all this money like per usual. <laughs> but um, we just went over there just so we could like talk while we shop and see each other which try it if your family's in your area and you guys aren't like high risk and everyone's healthy and safe just try to like meet your loved ones at target with a mask if you don't live with them that's my recommendation i'm not a doctor i'm not the president which i wouldn't take his advice but we're not gonna get into that okay so anyways i needed baggies so the target brand of baggies um they were trash last time i bought them and like every time I would open them or close them, it would come apart at the seam so they wouldn't really be closed. So my sister told me to get these hefty ones. I got the gallon little slider baggies and then just some Ziploc sandwich baggies. Nothing too exciting here. I mentioned these on my channel before. These are the Shout To Go wipes that my aunt got me like so obsessed with. And I showed this to you in my travel video, I believe. But these are like little individual packets and I keep these in my purse. I keep them in my kitchen. I keep them in my travel bags. This is like a little wet wipe that will just take any stain out of your clothes or anything that you spill, it's gonna come out. So I was almost out of these. These are so cheap. Let me tell you the price. Let me look at this long receipt. Um, these are $2.99 and in here is 12 individual wipes. Super cheap, super perfect. You guys need those. And then we've been walking so much. I just got these big like block band-aids, like a big square that can go on the back of the heel for like if I'm walking, um, you know, sometimes like your shoe rubs and then I can't walk if I have a blister. So I want to keep up the walking and I want to incorporate hiking and running. So I got these. They're just like six large band-aids. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. Okay, so just some band-aids. My last boring items, um, I got a pack of sponges. I don't know why. I don't replace my sponges enough in the kitchen. Like, it was gross. So they need to be replaced. So some sponges. I got some more paper plates because we've just been eating from home. So the dishwasher is always full and we're always running out of plates and silverware. And these were on clearance because they have like a little 4th of July flag or whatever. So these are like $2.50. And then the little plastic cutlery. Because like, come on. I don't want to keep doing dishes, okay? Let's get into the more fun stuff. Okay, I just got baby wipes because I use these when I self-tan. By the way, I have not self-tanned in so long and hi, cannot go outside because of pets removal. But um, I don't know if I told you guys, I went for microneedling and I did it on my face and my chest like I told you. 
and she basically ended up scarring me. So I did microneedling on the chest to try to like get rid of some of the stretch marks. My stretch marks are not noticeable because they're like the same color as my skin and they're not super deep, but they do bother me. And as I lose weight, they're like a little more visible. So I did the microneedling and she went so deep and so crazy that there's basically, it was like a, a big, like red strip behind the stretch mark, like, you know, double or triple the width of the stretch mark. So basically I have like tiger stripes on me, which I could show you, but it's not that kind of channel. And they basically scarred. So it's like hyperpigmentation. So I went from having like subtle stretch marks that you can't really see to now having brown lines. So I've been using the retinol hydroquinone combo. The girl at the tattoo removal place told me to do that, to try to like get rid of the scarring on there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but basically, I'm getting like red spots because that was too strong. I only did it like three nights. So basically I'm trying to wait for this scarring to go away before I self tan, okay? But these I get for self tan and I was almost out. So if I can self tan in the future, I would like to have these. They're like $1.99 for these sensitive baby wipes. If you self tan, they're great. If you have a baby, they're great. Anything, you know? Next, I got these cosmetic rounds. Don't think we're using these for our makeup. Don't do it. We're not using these for our makeup, no. This was like a 12 pack for $1.99. And I think I showed you guys in my lash vlog video that we use these sponges to practice our fans. The little fan cluster that you put on for lash extension, um, you can make the fan and glue them in a circle around here. And then you kind of like bend it and it's easy to see how your lash set would turn out. I ordered these on Amazon, they were $7. So I'm sending them back. This was only $1.99. I restocked on my favorite deodorant. I always show you guys, I told you this is what I use. I don't just talk about it. This is like my fourth, bottle of this it's 11.99 at target the best set is lilac and white tea they actually had them like buy one get one half off um and i wanted to stock up and get a different scent but i smell all of them and i didn't like them this is still the best scent in my opinion and i sniffed all of them it was very hard with the mask to sniff by the way okay let's get into the feminine care it's all women here if you're not a woman well Hopefully you appreciate feminine care, I don't know. But um, I have been hearing about this brand called Honey Pot. I believe I saw this on TikTok, I wanna say. And if you already know, Summer's Eve and like brands like that, they have like a feminine wash, but they're not good for you at all. You're not supposed to use them. Apparently doctors say like it messes up your pH level and it could cause a lot of things. We're not gonna get into it, but supposedly that's bad. So I wanted to try this one. This is what it looks like. It says honey pot, sensitive foaming wash, plant-based feminine care, refresh, no parabens, no dioxides, 100% natural, pH 3.5 to 4.5, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, gynecologist, love it, shank, pump three times, wash with clean hands. For external use only, it has lavender, vinegar, and another flower. So it's all organic. I thought I would try it. I don't know if I'll keep you updated on that. <laughs> But we got it. So then the little brand, Summer's Eve, I saw this from Karen. I love Sarai on YouTube. She had a video and this is a freshening spray five in one. It's basically like I would describe it as like a liquid baby powder. I sprayed it in the air. That's how I know that. Um, never tried it before, but yeah, just thought I would try it, you know, for your cycle. When you're on your cycle and you want to feel fresh, we're not going to get into details, but I got the new scent blissful escape okay and then the scent was like let's see it was on clearance it was like instead of 2.99 it was 149 this one was called like tahitian tahitian sunset so yeah it's like a liquid baby powder you know keep you fresh so we'll see how these go okay then i got some elastics for blonde hair i don't know how long i'm gonna stay blonde for but i wanted some um, little baby elastics, so they're like thinner and smaller than usual. You know, like if you do like maybe braids or something, I normally like to use like a little clear one for a braid, but um, this is like a blonde one if you're doing like smaller hairstyles. Even the regular size rubber band, it's really hard to like hold on my hair, but the little ones are good if you're doing, you know, like a little braid or a little unicorn little thing here. I don't know, I just got these. I don't even know why, to be honest. Then I've been really wanting to repurchase an in-shower body lotion and I wasn't sure which one to get, so we got two. We got the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner with Shea Butter and B3 Vitamins. Then we got the Nivea In-Shower Body Lotion 
24 hour nourishing with almond oil. So this one I got because you already know the lotion by Nivea. I already told you the best body lotion in the entire world at any price point. This is basically like a little rinse off version in the shower. It keeps you super soft. I used this, I think like years ago, like five, 10 years ago um, and really liked it. This was 13 ounces and this was eight ounces. Let me tell you the price difference. The Olay was $5.99 for eight ounces. And then the Nivea was $5.49 for 13 ounces. I'll let you know which one I like better. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try them both. I just wanted like a little bit of extra hydration. You know? Leave me a comment down below and tell me, have you guys used the in-shower lotions and which one is your favorite? I know the Olay one had a few different scents, but this scent was the best to me. This is the yellow one. There was one with like pink and they kind of smelled like um, crayons. So I was like, no. Then my sister showed me this. This is the Aquaphor ointment body spray. So it's basically like an aerosol lotion and I'm lazy. So like, who doesn't want to just be like, Shh, and be done with their lotion? This was a little pricey. It was six ounces. It was $13.99. And then when she showed me this, I remembered I had tried this one. This is a Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. It's the cocoa butter one, non-greasy. Um, so I remembered that I used this when she showed me this. So we're just going to compare them and see what's better. And it is summertime, so it'll give you like a nice glow on your legs or your arms if you're able to get outside. I don't know what state you're in, but... In California, we're in the house. Then when I saw this one, I remembered how much I loved this one. This is the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. So this is basically like cocoa butter and like aloe vera in one. It's a gel. So after you shave your legs, this is like the best thing in the entire world you can put on your legs. It will hydrate them. It will prevent ingrown hairs and it will just give you that nice hydrated glow. And it's not sticky. This is like not too big, 6.8 ounces. But these two, you have to try these two. They're super good. Let me tell you how much the gel was. The gel, I think it's $5.99. And then the spray one was $6.59. So I want to let you know if the Aquaphor one was worth it because the Vaseline one's like half the price for the same size. I know the Aquaphor is supposed to be like healing. So I'm not really sure, but we're going to try it. We're going to see. I also got the same baby wipes, but they had different scents. I got fresh bloom scent. Again, I couldn't smell anything with my mask on. So I got home and I smelt it and I was like, um, okay. I don't know. The ones I use are like sensitive, but I only use them for self tanning. So I don't know if it really matters, but I don't really know why I bought two or why I bought this story of my life. Then I bought some snacks. My husband and I, we found these at Costco. They're life changing. Warm these up in the microwave. You'll die. And then we got some of these. I don't know. My husband said he's not going to eat either of these and I'm not supposed to be eating either of these. So... I don't know really why I bought them. Okay, for the last part, we have the clothes. I just bought some shirts and sports bras to show you, and I bought a sweatshirt. Let me show you the sweatshirt first because I'm so excited about this. Look how cute this is. This was literally $24. It's by All In Motion. Obviously, everything's gonna be linked down below, but I can't even describe to you, this is like the softest, stretchiest, just like, you just wanna like hug it. This is so cute. Imagine for summer with like a biker short. Bye, so good. Then I bought this shirt in black and in white. This was $8. And this is also super soft. This is by A New Day. And this is just like a V-neck tee. It's super stretchy and soft and you always need a V-neck to go with anything. And my favorite halogen ones are not at Nordstrom anymore. So I figured I need a new tee. Then we just got three sports bras. So first, we saw this one on a mannequin. This is also by All In Motion. I think All In Motion replaced Champion because they're like the same sports bras but a different name. We saw this on a mannequin and how cute is this? It's like glitter, like a black sports bra with glitter. They had it in other colors, but this was the best color. So cute. Then these are like my favorite. I have so many of these in black and white by Champion. They're just like a little stretchy, really comfortable sports bra. I wouldn't do jumping this if you have a big chest. Um, I would just do this for like yoga, Pilates. I love that for Pilates. And then I got a white one and it's just like the typical like pull over sports bra. They didn't have like a thin strappy one, but I already have that. But I just thought it'd be super good for working out. So that's all the things that I got at Target. I thought I didn't get that much, but at the same time I got like 2000 products. I don't know what I was thinking, but 
I want to really try all that body care for you guys. Let me know if you found this interesting or if you want to see more shopping hauls. I want to do a really big online haul. I did like a lot of online orders recently and I bought a lot of different like body care and stuff at Sephora and clothes, workout clothes. So let me know if you'd want to see that down below. Anything that you need to link to, it will be linked down below. Be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.